it's a classic thing of the, your 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 uh, training partner partner yes. or, or local rival, the guy you play every day, every week, so much until it's it doesn't even feel like you're playing Super Smash Brothers yeah. anymore. You're just trying to read each other's minds. But like it or not, we are playing some Super Smash Brothers right now as we do have this sheet versus the Bayonetta, like we said, on small battlefield going into this game one in this lover's quarrel. Let's see who comes out on top. Yes, and I, I, I do kind of find it uh, difficult to imagine how how this matchup goes, because, I mean, both of these characters can struggle killing, right? Yes. Uh, Sheik, maybe more so. Uh, but, I mean, if, if you give any of these characters rage, they're still going to be super, super scary, because they can close that stock. So, uh, I mean... It's really going to come down to who's more precise yes. with their setups, who finds those sweet spots, those big... Oh, and a big forward smash from Deirdre, sending Nibidax off stage, and now we've got the ledge trap set up. I think one of the big issues for Sheik in this matchup has got to be that uh, bat within, right? Yes. You've got to be so precise with Sheik already, and now you you have even a smaller margin of error against Everything this Everything needs Bayonetta. to be framed tight right now. Exactly. If not, that's bat within, and suddenly you're getting reversal, or at least you're not getting that advantage you need to have. Because she, if she can't get like long, consistent combos that do the damage, you, you really only have a character with bad range and very little damage output. That's what you're stuck with then. So you need that, you need those combos. And if you can't get them, then it's gonna be really, really rough. Dia Ooh. letting a lot of these forge smashes rip right now. Not a classic Sheik sort of place. I'm feeling a, I'm feeling a potential Bowser player in this Sheik right now. <laughs> Just letting it rip. And as we were talking about struggling with killing, we are seeing both closer to 150% already. This can, this is probably gonna be the story of the game. But with Ooh. that back, you're finally landing that kill a little lead for Nibidax. I could see this being a very long set, Boravi. We're gonna have to strap in for a long haul, and I think when we're getting into those later games, it's really gonna be a contest of endurance. Oh, who yeah. holds up, who presses their buttons the precise way when we're in those late hours of the game. Right now, Dia trying to make her way back in this game as she gets a little combo, but Nibidax act, a answered Ooh. right back. It's not going to be a kill, of course, but it's going to be a lot of damage. Oh. And you know, I, I can only imagine that Dia knows exactly how to SDI and PI those Bayonetta combos. Yes. Yeah, you can see Nibdax wanted to carry her all the way off stage, but Dia actually just Dia in properly, then you can't really get that kill super early. I feel like we're already seeing that I've played you a lot, sort of playstyles with all these big callouts from yeah. F smashes and up smashes. Like, I know you rolled here, baby. Yeah. Like, honey, roll. honey, let's be real, you <laughs> roll here. Uh, yeah, they, they definitely know each other's habits super, super well. And they're just scrapping with each other. This is just in-your-face action right here. Yeah, can we talk about how even this has been so far? It's been <laughs> the triple up tilt. Yeah. All Try right, keep air dodging. Let's we'll see if it works next time. Yeah. Hold up, hold up, let me hit my combo. Wait, <laughs> hold up. Let me, honey, give me another one, please. Uh, just sure. one All more right. try. Last try, yeah. last try. You get one more. Okay, you got it. You better give me some recess on down tilt as well. Like, <laughs> all right, this is an even trade. <laughs> Ooh, that was scary. Okay, not again. I really like the SDI from Dia. It seems like she's SDIing Ooh. down, which leads to her actually just going out of the combos. And of course, that Uffy oh gimping, but oh, with a big fist. Hands. God oh. damn. Be careful, Lam. <laughs> hey, I'm not saying nothing. Yeah. I'm not saying <laughs> nothing. That was good gameplay and uh, good forward smash. I'm not saying anything. Yeah, it, w it was a really good forward smash, calling finally, out that mystic. Finally hitting one of those forward smashes from Nibudax, but a close game. I feel like Dia had some things working out for her right there, yeah. but Nibudax really good at getting those reversals that just racked up a ton of percent despite the good SDI from Dia, and it was just too yeah. much at the end. I mean, sometimes it, it looks like they can struggle, you know, if you SDI and Dia properly, but at the end of the day, she gets one of those like witch twist confirms. It's still like it's gonna be 40, 50 percent, which is devastating if you're she because you die at what did you die at 80 or something? Yeah. She dies early, and you know it, it's kind of a blessing in disguise when you're like, oh, I can't really kill in this matchup because you know she can be kind of slippery, but at the same time, super light. Yes, absolutely. And even though Bayonetta can struggle to kill, she does have those oh, smash yeah. attacks, and they do hit kind of hard. She does have up tilt back air into air dodge, into she up tilt back air into air dodge, into up tilt <laughs> back air, you know? Believe it or not, true combo. True combo, yeah, true yeah, combo. yeah. Especially on Dia. Especially on Dia. I, I think it's sweet. Like, yeah. honey, I've, I've seen you in training room. I know you hit these usually. <laughs> Come on. You usually hit him. I know you can do it. Come on, baby. Nah, but it's, it's uh, a... <laughs> 
Uh, it, it, it's definitely a kind of tight combo, especially on characters like Sheik, you know? Uh, yeah. it, it, can, it can be kind of difficult, slim um, hurt yeah. boxes, always difficult to hit covers, especially tight covers, like up to back air, it is tight, and it's uh, S or it's uh, DI dependent. Mix upable, yeah. yeah. So. Absolutely, so uh, good uh, good stuff from Nipodax taking that first game as we are going to town and city, I believe, for our counter pick here from Dia. A little more space to work oh. with, and the Peach coming out. All peach. right. All right, yes. Uh, and so I do believe Dia used to be a Peach main. Yes, uh, I'm sorry, I was mistaken earlier, I believe. Uh, she might also play uh, Lucina, because I think she might have played Lucina yesterday in doubles, but Peach is probably the main, or at least the secondary, that she usually goes. I saw, I saw she was playing the Peach leader yesterday in pools. So, uh, this is going to be interesting. This matchup is interesting, because I feel like this is the same character, just like the one goes up and the other one goes sideways. I yeah, don't know. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's true. It's the horizontal versus the vertical, yeah. and both of them kick your ass. I yeah, feel like do. I feel like if Dia just like wins this now, it's kind of like, honey, why were you going easy on me in the first <laughs> game? All, All right. right, and the ledge trap, and a lot of percentage on yeah. Nibudax already. This Peach really working oh. out at the golf course, hole in one, That's par that. for the course. <laughs> That's that matchup knowledge, you know, and we already have that stitch. Oh, yeah, Bats within coming in clutch there. If not, that would have been a lot of percent. You know how much Peach can deal with that stitch phase. Ooh, and this is looking so rough for Nipodax right now. Dia looking like the master of this game. This Peach is a whole different animal. All right, hold though, hold. Oh, a nah. good DI from Dia. You know she's been hit by that. I've won too many <laughs> times, like not again, all right? You're not getting me with this. You got it on me yesterday, but not today. Okay, and let's see if Nibodax can't claw his way back into this game as Dia does have a significant lead and is just making it even bigger with this ledge trap so on point. I know you roll here, stop it. Oh, oh catching that. Wow. I know you jump here. Yeah. They, just, they just know, they just know. I mean, right now it looks like Dia is the only one who knows. Ah, uh, Nibdax definitely knows something as well. I mean, we, we saw how Nibdax was able to take that game pretty comfortably last time. It's definitely not without uh, reason that he was able to do that. So, I, I definitely think we're, we're getting a close set no matter how this game goes. That back here not quite going to kill. Edgeguard with there. Can this Edgeguard work out? Still racking up this percentage and once again really great SDI coming out from Dia. This is a mountain to climb from Nigladax in this game, too. All right. Oh, not getting the grab, but you know he won that fourth throw, or that jab, possibly. Anything might work. Ooh. The dash tag going to close out that stock. Finally, very healthy still from Dia. You're going to have to do a lot of work in order to rack this percentage or take these stocks, especially when Dia is not getting hit by the confirms that a lot of players might die early to. Absolutely. Dia is really making Nibodax work for every single percentage he racks on this princess right now. Mm. Oh, and the trade there, and that's going to be a lot of damage and an offstage situation. How does Nibodax get out of this corner? A little fair. Oh, does to change. not get it. Tries to get that air dodge call out, but not quite. Dia is ready for it. The F throw going to send him off stage. All right. I mean, this isn't too terrible. I feel like if Nibodax can just take the stock with a potentially a jab. All right, he's right back floating this. back. That, that's probably very, very good for Peach. You know, floating over the guns. Don't even need to worry about it. Does not need to put be put in that situation where he air dodge. Oh, but the Nair going to kill Bea. Almost kill Bea off the side. Good recovery there from Nibodax, but this is starting to look really rough. Peach does hit, hit significantly harder than Sheik does. This woman has some hands on her, so you oh, gotta yeah, watch sure. out. The kill power of Peach always startles me. It's like, I'm Ooh. no, I'm not dead. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> well, like there. Absolutely. <laughs> That's oh. exactly what Nibodax was thinking, right? What? Oh. What an emphatic reply from Dia right there. Taking that game two in style with that Peach. Showing sure. I've been holding back, so taking off the weighted clothes and then revealing your true form. And we get a little crowd shot. What's up? Oh, damn. We got beautiful people. How you doing? We got some British people out there. We got an <laughs> IRFUs looking confused, confessed even, you know. We got Yuvu. Shout out to the people at Valhalla. It's been a great event. Yes. No shortage of amazing people in the crowd here. I love the energy in this venue right now. The whole uh, Scandinavian and Nordic scene is just popping off, cheering for every single competitor that they know, and you can really feel that energy. If you were watching the Taudi versus, or Smixtape versus Tarek set, you know what I'm talking about. Oh. The people want to see their heroes 
succeed. And let's see who succeeds here as we get into this game three. And Nibudax already replying back after that last game with 72% and racking on this Peach. For sure. And like we we saw Nibudax get a conversion very, very well positioned, which should lead to a kill in a lot of situations. But Dia, really, like one of the best people at DI. Bayo combos that I've ever seen is doing really, really well. Like there as well, SDI or ending up above actually Bayonetta, not getting hit by that wow. final fair. I am so blown away by this SDI right now. Bayo not getting any of the usual shenanigans she could pull off, making this look so rough for Nibodax. It really, really does. But still, you you can't look or you can't overlook oh, that the percent be that's been racking up, and that means Jab's gonna kill and Jab as a kill confirm, you know? We'll take that. I feel like uh, Nibudax really knows Dia's shield habits and is good at abusing the timing mix up on the jab to find those kills with Bayonetta. And it's paying off in spades right now as he does have a significant lead in this game three. Gets another carry combo, but once again, the SDI. Oh, turn up. Okay. Can, Nib can Nibudax get back to stage? So I feel like one of the ways you can tell if someone's really good at the Bayo matchup is can they edge guard Bayo? Because that's yes. so, so difficult. But it's very possible if you know the matchup. And I we have been seeing the uh, actually edge guard Bayo quite a lot. And that's uh, that's very, very impressive. You're right. And these turnips really sniping out this recovery from Bayo. If you know the ro routes that her up B and side B goes, you can really scout her out with some mm. of these turnips. And Dia's doing just that as she puts Nibudax off stage once again. You can also challenge Bayo from below very often, especially if, if she has to do that, do that direct, direct, uh, directly up. Yeah. FB, right? She, you can get like behind the stage and do like a forward air. We saw Dia do that earlier. It's really, really efficient. And a dash tag gonna close out that stock. But you got a lot of percent deficit to make up for. Absolutely. But I don't know, Peach, one of those characters that can make that sort of stuff up in a heartbeat Ooh. if he does she doesn't die right here but she does live with good di and now we're getting started on a little combo okay 164 percent though zag yeah Nibidak's so aggressive in these scrambles even when he's in disadvantage he's swinging every time no respect right now oh crown okay. little turn up we're on the brink of a comeback right now this would be devastating for dia or for Nibidak's rather if dia managed to get like one Good hit off stage. One little confirm. That could be that could be curtains for this stock. Oh, this is looking really scary. I feel like even though Nibudax had that has that percentage lead, it's like the momentum has shifted a little bit. Dia. Ooh, Ooh but the Nero actually coverage. taking it. Yeah. Covering that air dodge and more, just being so so ready for that. The heel slide. I feel like we need to see Nibudax sort of punishing some of these air dodges out of the combos more. Uh, Dia really uh, good at that SDI as we've noted multiple times. Oh, and just calls out, like, just like I'm talking about it, calls out an air dodge with a big up smash. Sometimes you forget Peach even has that up smash because yeah. all her moves are so good. Yeah, but we have to talk about how Bayonetta, if she does that Witch Swiss too many times, that uh, ABK too many times, she will have a lot of landing lag when she lands on the ground. And Dia very prepared, prepared for that, getting that up smash beautifully. Position. And suddenly this the shoe is I don't even know if it's on the other foot. I don't even know even know if the shoe's in the building right now. Dia has completely taken over this game. Oh for sure. The shoe's way back in the shoe store, you know? It's not it's not even here. <laughs> Buying the new the new Tim's, bro. <laughs> She's out here looking for Nike, Jordans, anything. Where are these shoes right now? Oh, oh my what God. a roll read with that four air, that float into four air. She knew. Hey. She knew. Yo. That was years of like, yeah. uh, you know, practice together. Just saying, like, you roll here every single time, baby. Communication is the key to any relationship, but you don't even need to talk when you can read each other's minds like that, you know? I feel like it's tough getting coached by your girlfriend <laughs> or, or boyfriend for that matter. Like, like after the set, they're like, I can give you some tips if you want. That's tough. That's tough, yeah. All right, game three, back to small battlefield, Nibo Dax was looking so hot in that game one and in that game three, but Dia is just looking like she can't be beat. Her mental strength is unconquerable. Yeah, we, you have to remember that that one game that Nibidax has taken was against the Sheik, and with the Peach, it's been looking really, really good for Dia. Nibidax has been struggling to deal with it. Once again, a strong start, though, in this game four. The DI is so immaculate. Never, not even once, so far has Dia been hit by an early 
Bayo kill confirmed. I saw I saw Nibidax playing earlier against Rykos. Yeah. Rykos was dying every single time to an early Bayo combo. Oh, combat. and an SD there, I think. So it's not Nibidax executing, right? I can promise you that. Yeah, it is absolutely. only the uh, being immaculate in disadvantage. And I feel like in a matchup against Bayo, you can't like mention good SDI enough. It's so pivotal, so crucial. Yeah. And Dia is such a master of the craft right here. As she does have Nibidax on ledge, I like that normal get up into the spot dodge. Gets a witch twist right here. That's gonna be big percentage. Yeah, Slowly. already. Alright, 110% on Bayo though. Does not take much. Gonna send Bayo off stage. We got the turnip. Can we get any edge guard? Not really. And the ABK from ledge is gonna trip Dia up. Oh. Not gonna be a kill quite yet, but still a that lot was of damage. Close, though. Oh, are we actually getting one? We're getting what? It oh. looks like Dia's fingers might be getting a little tired because I'm not seeing that SDI right now. It can be difficult. You can't be 100 for 100. At some point, you're going to slip up. Nibudax is locked in right now. He is hitting everything he wants to, and Dia is looking like she's just letting it happen. Okay. Oh, oh my god, and the up smash. Crazy call out. Oh, oh my god. The hands, bro. Restocking your girlfriend? That's messed up. <laughs> that is messed up. I could never. Uh, but good stuff from Nibudax right there. Looking. That was exactly what you needed in a game yeah. four. After losing two sets after a character or two games after a character switch, getting an emphatic like short game like that, that's such a momentum shifter. It's a statement. It's like a statement. I said earlier, communication is key. And uh, he's talking. Right talking. Yeah, he's, he's saying something. And uh, we'll see if Dia is picking it up or if it is a wrap. If that adaptation will carry on. Will we even see the Peach again or will the character switch come out? We are seeing the Peach once again. One last stand to see who will carry the mantle into top 12. And what of you, if you know me, which you do, you know there's one thing I love more than anything, and it's a good game five, and I think that's what we got right here as we're already getting into it. 51% already on Nibodax as we are on Town & City once again. Yeah, for sure. The Town & City might pay off for both characters, I can imagine. You know, Bayo kills off the side even earlier, but if the SDI is on point, that might be a non-factor. But of course, Peach getting those early kills with four there, with a lot of conversions with Turnip as well, could be really, really big. And I feel like it's a really good pick for Dia because a lot of the things that were happening on Small Battlefield was that the burst options from Bayo was just proving too powerful, too much base covered on that small stage. So when you've got a little more room to work with, it might be easier for, for Dia to bait out some of these options and then punish them as we're looking very close in this game five. This is for all the marbles, baby. <laughs> I love Peach's grab. Just pulls out, yeah. he just starts punching Just do on the you. work for me. He just starts wailing <laughs> on you. Stop. Dude, if I got punched by Toad, I'd give up. That's like, over. Uh, like, no more. No yeah. more. You I'm win, done. bro. I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Th that's kind of the read where you go like, again, you know? That's not even like, a, I got you. That's like, a, really? You yeah, got to yeah. hit by that once again? I'm not going to lie. This might be the rawest couple in Super Smash Bros. Really? These guys are raw. Oh, and I do want to point out the town pick once again. We did see Dia get killed off Bayo Combos a few times last game, but that was off the top. That would not kill on this stage. So if she manages to keep those uh, off the side to not from happening at all, she will not be dying to bear combos at all at this stage. I, I, I really like this pick from Dia. That's a great point, Borari. I think you're absolutely right. And I think that was one of the things that went into Dia's mind when she was picking this stage. But so far, Nipodax doesn't look like he's too faced by really making Dia work for her money right here as we have a completely even game five right now. Two stocks apiece. Tries to pressure the shield, but that witch, witch twist out of shield is so Ooh. fast. Tries to go for the hole in one birdie. Oh! The back is sweet spotting all the way over there, getting that <laughs> kill. We are having Dia on her tournament stock now, potentially, as Nibidax takes a small lead. But we've, if we've been seeing anything this set, it is completely even. Last stock situations very often. So we might see another one as Dia is racking up this percent, even more 140. Anything will kill, and that back here will do it as we move into last stock. Game five in this lover's quarrel, quarrel right I now. I am feeling it, Moravia. Right now, we've got a hot set as we get into it. The wit twist, putting on the percentage, already 61 on this princess. One little combo, and it's already looking kind of rough, but you know, it doesn't take more than one advantage state right back. This is still an even game, but... The patience from Nibodax right here on this ledge trap, really just scouting out some options to go for a big swing that misses now on ledge. Dia's ledge trapping has been on point. Gets to grab into the back air. 
Okay. Ten. Oh, oh, it's looking, it's slipping a little bit from the end. The back here crossing up, not gonna kill on Town and City though. Might have been it on another stage, but we are still leaving, still hanging on. Maybe by a thread, but a thread nonetheless. You know, we are still in this. Oh, and he's out of shield. Oh, bees <laughs> into the back air. Let's go. Good wow. stuff from Nibdax, taking it, moving on. And we got Aww. the kiss. No hard feelings. Still, we you carry on the mantle. Go beat the ass. That's what they're saying, you know? Yeah, yeah. Nibdax will it. move on into top 12, meeting Mess Call in the next round. What is, a set. Yeah. Mess Call versus Nibdax, that's going to be a hot set. Ooh. Bayonetta versus Ridley. Let's go. Who's getting comboed? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I I would, don't, I'm not going to say it's Ridley, but like, come on. If I had to put my money on someone. Yeah, it's going to be the big space dragon, not yeah. the, the witch. I believe we are getting Meli Megra versus people of next, though. So, so uh, that's going to be go. another Danish match. We got that Denmark versus Sweden rivalry, that Scandinavian battle with people, of course, being one of the best players in Sweden and also being PR'd in, uh, I believe, uh, Italy? Yes. Italy and Sweden at the same time. An Italian player who has moved to Sweden. The double PR, that's a yeah. rare, rare occurrence. This man is good no matter where he is. Yeah, for sure. But we are seeing the Kazuya versus Mario. I do want to say that I imagine, I don't know this for a fact, because I know Kazuya's matchups are a little bit in, unintuitive sometimes, but I imagine Kazuya might do really well against um, Mario. Because you know, you got that brawler archetype, right? Maybe it's a little bit difficult for Mario to actually play against Kazuya without going up. And when you got that like big iframe uh, electric wing I don't office, think it's it might too bad for Mario. Uh, I don't think it's too the, bad either. The ledge trapping and the edge guarding goes kind of hard. That's a good point. 